what is happening folks cutting straight in with a voiceover today instead of going to video today i am shooting in denver with the fujifilm x100v and it's also midday and my first time here so i've stacked the odds against me shooting in harsh light in a city that i don't know very well and also starting the video off with a bit of a banger i did not expect this to be a good photo but there's this old lady standing in the middle of this circle thing i really like this sort of like quiet scene at the time i thought nothing of this kind of wished i was closer but after i reviewed the picture i actually really like the scene i'm taking pictures in this little plaza here i think it might have been a private plaza because a security guard came and told me that I'm not allowed to take pictures of the buildings, which I know is completely false because it's a building and it's on Google Maps, but maybe I'm just not allowed to take pictures on their property. But I can take pictures of their property, but whatever, they were just doing their job. I didn't really grudge them for it. This being my first time in Denver meant I did not know my way around anywhere and I also came at midday when the sun was at its harshest so this made things a little bit challenging for me but I did keep finding these little like pockets of light uh, the way Denver's been built it's I guess it's quite modern there's a lot of cool architecture and a lot of light like reflecting off of things so it creates these kind of interesting areas where you can get kind of cool photos even though it's midday which is nice but everything is still pretty quiet um, it's also a Monday afternoon so um, maybe that has something to do with it as well but I'm pretty sure this city would be a lot busier on any normal day at this point I'm just kind of walking around shooting random photos of stuff in hopes that I might find something interesting this whole shopping center area is pretty cool because it's on three different levels this is horrible. The sun is at such a high angle that it's not really creating any interesting shadows. I'm just shooting for the sake of it and sort of getting a feel for how the city is myself. Happened upon this thing called the best view of Denver, which I would be surprised if this is the best view of Denver. But it was a kind of a, it was a nice view to be fair. I tried taking a picture of the sign itself. It, what, like whatever, nice as a photo set I guess. But I was sort of fixated on trying to find some sort of interesting pocket of light or shadow in this area and I did walk around in here for a while. Didn't really get anything that I thought was good, so kind of wasted time here, so. This one I thought could be interesting, but it's, it's not. It's not. I was clutching at straws. However, the light on this escalator thing uh, was actually pretty nice. So, if nothing else, I got this completely empty shot of some interesting light and reflections on the escalator. This is kind of a missed shot here. That person carrying all that water could have been an interesting shot if they stepped into the light. And that guy with the green t-shirt that just walked out of the light could have been an interesting, like, Pinkasov style shot. This, I just saw the Scotland flag. It's not really a Scotland flag in the background. Thought I'd try and make something of it, but I didn't like it, so I moved on. Here's another missed shot, all those painters walking with the same clothes on. Saw this businessy guy coming towards me in this building here. Should have got down a lot lower because this came out completely horrendous. Might have been okay if I'd been down lower, who knows. And after that I just took a picture of this building because I thought it was a cool building. I like the crane in the corner. I kind of like the composition, it looks almost like a stormtrooper building. This area has a ton of potential if the light was nicer and there was a lot more people in it. There's this nice hat in a window though. So that is the best shot I got in that area. I guess it's a nice little detail shot. I had switched to the X-T2 and the 56mm at this point. I did switch it back pretty quickly after. 
And then this thing happens in front of me, a guy in a speedo in the middle of Denver. So here on the left hand side you'll see this yellow wall and I thought it could have been a cool picture but I didn't see anybody that was going to pass through that area. So I moved on and just sort of took visual notes of this interesting light area here. Took a picture in this car park as well. There was like a puddle on the ground. It would be way better if someone was in it. And then as I was leaving that area, I saw in the distance someone in like a bluish green top walking down this way. So I made a beeline back towards that yellow wall. And I kind of set myself up here on pretty short notice to find some sort of, I just, I just filled the frame with yellow essentially and waited on this person to walk through. Immediately I realized I should have been closer I think I'm not quite used to the width of the 35 yet. And this came out okay, I like the contrast in color of her shirt, but as she walked forward, she also stepped under the shadow of a tree, so she was silhouetted in the next picture. And this one, I think I like better. I cropped it slightly just to get, um, there, was, there was like a shadow encroaching in the top corner that didn't look as good. I think I quite like this. It's pretty cliche getting silhouette shots like this, but I think the yellow wall makes it kind of interesting. And this was probably one of my best slash most Instagrammable shots of the day. Found this bear, giant sculpture of a bear, which looks pretty awesome. Took a couple photos, but I'm really just appropriating someone else's art. This shot through there didn't really work out how I imagined, but in different light, it might be nice. I tried to photograph this worker who was just standing with his foot on a hose. Not exactly sure the reason for it. Not a great picture by any means, but uh, it's, it's a thing that happened. This awning here with all this interesting patterns on it cast a really cool pattern on the floor. And I can just imagine if there was a bunch of people sort of coming and going through here, getting some interesting shots, definitely gonna come back to this location a lot more often because also in the alleyway right beside it, the building is reflecting some really cool, interesting spots of light down onto the floor. So that's another area that would be interesting with people in it. I keep seeing these scooters just lying on the floor. So I started taking pictures of them. Just, I'll have a bunch of them and I'll make a set of them after a while. But um, yeah, it's kind of like the colors match some of the colors on the floor. The yellow hydrant kind of stands out a little bit. Here, just a, just a broken window, possibly from the riot stuff that was happening a while ago, although kind of far from that, so maybe it was something else. Then I was like slowly herding these pigeons towards this reflective window. It did not work out how I expected, but it worked out kind of cool because the light is illuminating the pigeon, um, but the pigeon is completely encased within the shadow there. So. And there's a lot of movement in the photo, which I quite like about it. And the next one, I like that it's fully encased within the window and it's in shadow this time. I think the first one was better, but this one is interesting as well. At this point, I was basically just looking for my car as I did not take a note of where I parked. Um, taking little abstracts of the city, not thinking too hard about it. And I'm seeing these uh, walls, which is really other people's art, I think, on the side. Took this little cross section of blue and orange here. And then almost back to the car at this point, got a picture through these windows, someone walking through. I'm a little annoyed I cut her feet off, but otherwise I like the sort of reflections and complexity in pictures like this. Another scooter abandoned, this time a red one with yellow, with a yellow wall beside it. So that was Denver. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Personally, I'm looking forward to going back there later in the day or when the sun's a little bit lower. Maybe even on a rainy day would be nice. Although usually when it rains here, it's absolutely insane like it is just now. But anyways, thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.